Hello, welcome to another video tutorial on building shiny apps and in this tutorial we will see how to use tab sets in shiny which gives a tab like layout we will also see how to use the render table and table output functions to display the information in table format and also we will see another kind of output function uh, verbatim text output let's see what we have today so I already I'm already in the working directory where I have stored the um, UI.r and server.r files and I will just go ahead and run the app and we see this is what we are going to make today I just uh, used the code or, or the previous uh, UI.r and server.r files and modified so that we have this tab like structure we see different tabs here and we can navigate from one tab to another we will also learn how to populate the information or, or uh, display the uh, output in the table format also we will see how to display the information in verbatim text format so let's get started here we are in R studio and I already have the UI.R and server.R files here and these files are basically from the last video tutorial where we made the uh, histogram and uh, the only change I made here so far is uh, instead of a demonstration of render plot from the from the previous video I changed the title to iris data set so it's all pretty much same whatever we did in the last video tutorial so let's go ahead and see the um, app it's basically just a plot and what we want to do is uh, we will start off with uh, creating the tabs and the tab will be created in the uh, main panel and to create the tab we will say tab set panel and we will say okay let me show you the options which comes so we have uh, um, all these kinds of options we can position we can tell what's the type and and all those things so let's go ahead and first give the type type equals now there are two two types and we'll see each of them let's just start with tab for now and we want how many four tabs right so we create that using tab panel and let's just for now give the name of the tabs summary we want another tab I'm just following the syntax of tab set panel and I will say structure where we will display the structure of our data set the third tab panel show the data and the last one for the plot okay now I just followed the syntax of tab set panel it's not basically all these things are not basically separate we can uh, it's basically like this I have just um, you know in a, um, so that we can uh, read it better I just made it to the line and you can see we have commas in, in the middle so right now what we did is we just created the tabs we don't have anything coming on from server.r which could be used as output to display in these tabs however we have this plot output already which we created in the last video and uh, actually we can use uh, at least that to um, populate the uh, histogram in that tab so I will just use that output here and we can delete this one because anyhow we are not going to use this one okay let's go ahead and run the app so basically what I just did is uh, I used the tab set panel function and defined all the uh, uh, tabs here uh, and initialized them with their names we have still to use 
the corresponding outputs from the server dot r to display the uh, information but but for now let's go ahead and run the app okay could not find the function plot output oh. spelling mistake okay so we see that we now have uh, four tabs the first one is named as summary where we will display the summary of iris data set the second one is structure and the purpose of this tab is basically i would like to display this structure or basically whatever output we get from the str function on iris data set here um, i want the um, uh, particular uh, uh, column from the iris data set to be displayed in the table format and here we have the plot this is the same plot we created in the last video okay so let's go ahead and and start off by uh, filling out the um, um, the information we need here to display on, uh, under each of these tabs okay so uh, we will start with um, creating the output for the uh, data tab and this is where we are trying to uh, display few of the observations from iris data set so let's go to server.r and create the output and so we will say output dollar say the name of the um, variable is data and what we are going to do is we are going to use a new uh, render function and in this case it will be render table remember last time we did render text because we were printing the strings and this time we will be using table because we are going to render table we are working with the table okay I will first use uh, um, something easy just printing few first few observations and then later on uh, i will show how we can use the user input um, where the user selects a column and only print uh, the observation pertaining to that column a little bit later so for now what what we want is just talking about iris data set we want to um, print first few observations of the data set so i will say iris sorry head iris and and we know that when we say head iris it it displays first few observations of iris data set now this uh, the observations of the iris data set will get stored in the variable called data which we can use in ui.r and here we have another function to display that and we will say table output followed by the name of the variable data let's go ahead and run the app okay if we if we click on the data tab we can see that the uh, uh, the first few observations are displayed in this table format sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width in pieces. Okay, now we will work on the um, um, another example where we will actually try to print whatever user is selecting. So if user is selecting sepal width, this table should actually show the observations pertaining to this column or sepal width and if if the user selects petal length it should show the observations of petal length so we are basically using whatever user is choosing and trying to display the data corresponding to that particular choice go let's go back to uh, our studio okay so uh, in order to display the observations pertaining to user um, 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 user selected column we will have to use the choice from the user and that's it, that is stored in this variable uh, where so let's 
use the the variable colm to tell r which column user uh, user has selected and so we will have as dot numeric on the input from user var and why we did as dot numeric this is something which we discussed in the last video as well because input dollar var or basically the variable var um, is uh, character type actually and and uh, so it will be like character one character two character three and so if we do as dot numeric we can use that to tell r to display the first column so it can be display first column or display second column or display third column and so display the column colm which is uh, um, basically containing the value or, or the um, telling which column should be displayed and let's go ahead comment this because we are not going to use head iris for now run the app and we see now that since the sepal length was selected sepal length is let's see what is happening so sepal length has the value 1 how how does it have the value 1 we go to ui.r and see what what was the value of sepal length sepal length had the value 1 this is character type so we converted it to numeric so it became numeric one so we are telling r to basically give me all the observations of column one so this is what basically is happening so if now we select sepal width it it will become uh, as dot numeric two colm will have a value of 2 iris 2 means display the observations of second column and similarly third and fourth column now whatever is returned from iris column this statement here is actually rendered as a table which is stored in data and this is what we are we are actually using in ui.r to um, to display the uh, information in table format next we will see how to uh, display the structure and, and summary using the verbatim text output but in the next video